If you are a print on demand seller and right now you're feeling very discouraged because maybe you aren't making many sales, you've started this for a few months and you're just not getting the traction that you want to see. Well, the most profitable season of the year is coming up. So that means that you could have the potential to truly have your business grow and take off in the next couple of months. And if you haven't started prepping for Q4 in the holiday season, everything that is coming up in the last few months of the year, this is now the time to to get started, really go all in and take advantage of all the additional shopping that people are doing at this time of year. Now, if you know me in real life, you probably know that I am totally obsessed with the holidays and everything Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. I just love that season. And so while it feels really early to be thinking about selling and uploading items that are geared towards Christmas or the holiday season, it's not too early. Crazy people like me that are decorating on November 1st are already looking at Christmas stuff. So it's definitely time to start making and getting your items up on sites like Etsy and Amazon. So they have time to rank and they just have time for people to shop for them, buy gifts for other people. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full tutorial on how to make one of the most profitable items you can sell around the Christmas season, which is going to be ornaments. Now we're not going to be making just a generic ornament with something like Merry Christmas on it. I'm going to show you how to actually find a really good niche that has a low competition and actually make a design that gets clicks and gets sales and can be used to make a ton of different ornaments in many different niches. So let's not waste any more time and just jump right into this whole process. So the first place I'm going to go is going to be Printify. Now we are going to be making an ornament to upload to Etsy today. So if you've wanted to sell on Etsy and you've just never gotten started, Printify is the place that I would highly recommend for using as your manufacturer partner. I love their pricing, their turnaround time, their customer service, all that is fantastic. But another really nice thing that Printify has is they have so many different manufacturers and vendors of these items. So there's over 800 different product types that you can sell. So really anything you can think of that you want to make, especially around the Q4 season, they very likely have it. So right now I am in their holiday picks section. While there are tons of items that are really good sellers for the holidays, things like mugs, candles, totes, all those are fabulous, but we are going to be focusing on their ceramic ornaments today. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that. Now for their ceramic ornaments, there are four different shapes that these come in. So they have the regular circle, they have a snowflake, they have a star, and they have a cute heart. I really just like the basic circle ornaments. And so that's what we're going to be creating. It's a very versatile design type. So we're going to go ahead and make that. And what I really like is that these ornaments start at a really low cost and you can price them to make a decent profit margin on each sale. So even if you don't have Printify Premium, you just have a free Printify account linked with your Etsy shop. You can get these for about $6. And if you do have Printify Premium, you're going to get these for under five. So if you've never made a Printify account either free or with the Printify Premium, you can sign up down below. I'll have a link for you guys. But what we're going to do is we are just going to click start designing. Now this is going to take us over to the upload page where when our design is totally finished, we are going to upload it here, but we're not actually going to be creating the design on Printify itself. We're going to go to a separate design suite. But one thing that you want to do if you are making an ornament, especially something that is not just a standard shape, like a square, things like circles or the stars or the hearts, you're going to need to know what the print area for this is going to be. So I'm going to click download the design template, and that is just going to save the template to my computer. So then I can take it over to my design suite and kind of use it as a guide to create my design. So we make sure that we aren't making a design that's going outside of the print area. Now the canvas size we're going to use is right here, 954 by 954 pixels. So just a basic square. So actually let's go head over to the design suite now and get started. All right. So the design suite I'm using today is Kittle. There are tons of design suites out there, but what I really love about using Kittle is they are really tailored to print on demand sellers specifically. So every new update, every feature, that they add is really keeping print on demand sellers in mind. So a lot of the tools that they have made recently or that you can do here, I am using all the time for creating my new products. Now, one thing that's really cool that they have is they have tons of templates that you can use. So they have lots of different Christmas ones, perfect for t-shirts or tote bags or even ornaments. We're not actually going to use any of their pre-made templates today, but that's a really good resource if you are starting to create a bunch of holiday designs this year. So I'm just going to go over to 
new project. And then I am going to change these settings here to be what Printify asked for. So it's gonna be 954 by 954. And then we're gonna click create to make our artboard. All right, so that went ahead and it made just a square for us. But the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to uploads and I am just going to upload that template that I just downloaded from Printify. So there we go, there is that circle and I am just going to make it be the same size as this here. So we can kind of use this as a guide while we are designing. Now you're probably wondering, okay, what niche are we actually gonna be targeting? What designs are we going to do today? So I'm gonna take you over to my next free resource that we're gonna be using to find our design ideas. Now, if you've never seen it before, I actually have something that I made that's called my cross niching guidebook. That is a guide of how to come up with over 40,000 different niches that are in low competition areas with a lot less demand. So this is super valuable for times like holidays. So really how this guide works is there are a bunch of different categories, everything from holidays to family member names, to careers, to hobbies, to sports. And what you do is you are going to cross two different categories to make a sub niched item. So we are going to be taking the holiday of Christmas today and we are going to be crossing it with one of the different categories. Now, a lot of times the ones I'm going for are going to be things like careers and hobbies, but I thought a very fun one that we could do with Christmas today is actually going to be in the pet types category. So in pet types, I have dog breeds, cat breeds, and other pets. So those are fabulous ones to cross with holidays, but I think I'm going to stick in the dog breed kind of category and pick some of those to make some really awesome designs. Now, why I love doing stuff like this is in print on demand, I have made so much money targeting things that people are passionate about. So things like hobbies, their career, and especially their pets. People will spend money on their pets. If people know you have a pet that you love, they're gonna get you gifts about your pet. So this just makes a fabulous niche around Christmas time to make Christmas inspired pet designs. Now, I really don't love just doing a generic like dog Christmas design. I find that that still has too much competition. So what I'm gonna do instead is I am going to take a specific dog breed. So one of the ones I have here and I'm gonna cross it with Christmas. So I think one of the first ones that could be really fun to do is like a Pomeranian Christmas ornament. That could be very fun. Another one I was thinking is a beagle, could be super cute as well, but something like a Chihuahua or a Pug or a Mastiff or Collie, all of those are excellent. You could honestly do every single one of these, make a unique ornament for them, but let's just start with the Pomeranian. That could be super fun. All right, so I am back at my ornament and one thing I'm gonna be using today is Kittle's AI image generator. I found for especially cross niche designs, sometimes it's a little tricky to find the very specific type of picture or item you're needing. So it's really important to be able to have a good AI tool to make a more hyper specific design. So I'm gonna go down here and click on the AI image generator. And all we're going to do is describe our image. So I'm probably going to put something like cute Pomeranian with Santa hat. I think that could be very fun, basic enough that we could add some other elements and still keep this very minimal. All right, so I went ahead and typed cute Pomeranian with Santa hat. And now we're going to pick the style that we want to make this in. So typically I'm gonna go for a clip art style. There's several different variations. The kawaii ones are always super cute. There's cartoon style, but I think I'm gonna go with a t-shirt graphic style today. And that's gonna give us a really good image to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate that and it will just take a couple minutes. All right, so after just a minute, it created this super cute Pomeranian design using AI. Now, the very first thing I'm going to do is on the right-hand side, there's an AI background remover and I'm just gonna go ahead and click that so it's good to go. Now, the next thing I was thinking is maybe I'll put some text kind of curved around the bottom of this ornament. Now, there's a ton of different things you could do. You could do a fun kind of like pun with dogs and Christmas themed, or you could go a little more specific and do something that's maybe personalized. So I might do something that's based on the dog's name here. So something like Blank's First Christmas. So whatever the dog name is, we can do that. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm just going to go to the text here and I am going to add a headline. Now let's just call this dog Goldie, that's a cute name. So I just went ahead and typed Goldie's First Christmas. And now we're not gonna leave it looking like this. What I'm first going to do is change the text here. So there's lots of different ones. We could go for something more grunge or the 
this Black River one is really cute for Christmas, but this adventure one looks super cute. That gives me very festive holiday vibes. So I think I'm gonna stick with that. And then down at the bottom of this editing section, I am going to click transformation and then circle. And then I'm going to invert this direction here and then I'm gonna move that up. So the circle is not quite right. So I'm just going to edit this transformation. And right here, this dot, I am just going to move that until I'm happy with how this is looking. That's super cute. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna make Goldie just a little bit bigger here. That's adorable. Now I could totally leave this as is, but I think it would be fun to do a little bit more here in the background. So maybe like some snowflakes or something Christmas inspired. So let's go over to the left-hand side on the elements and just look up snow. All right, so there's a cute snowman, there's a snowmobile, but I think just a plain snowflake is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna start adding a few of these kind of here and there. So I'm just gonna take that and duplicate it and kind of scatter them around, maybe changing the size of some of them. So we'll make some smaller and some bigger ones. Let's put some miniature ones down here. And these can totally go kind of off the side here where it cuts off because it's totally fine if those kind of go outside the edge. If you didn't want them to, you could make sure to keep everything within that white guideline. But I kind of like the look of having stuff be a little bit more scattered around. All right, so that is looking super cute. And the next step is going to be downloading it. Now, a big mistake you could do is you could forget to delete this template that we used and then you download it and it would have the actual template so make sure you delete that first and it's going to look like oh that's not a perfect circle yet but it's going to look great when we actually get it on Printify on the ornament all right so let's go over to the downloads here and then we are going to remove that background and go ahead and download now back on our Printify all we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the uploads here and you're gonna either click my device or just drag that design you just downloaded right here all right that is looking really good so far so let's Let's go ahead and preview this. That is so cute. Let's look at the context photo too. I really love that they have kind of a holiday themed one where someone's holding it up. So that looks so cute. So let's go back over to Kittle and let's make another design for a beagle. And we're gonna change a few things, but kind of keep the same style. So you can kind of see how you could do one type of design and kind of just tweak a few things to use it over and over again. So I'm not even gonna make a new design. All I'm going to do is copy this whole artboard and I am just going to paste it right here. So now you can see we actually have two artboards right next to each other. So I'm going to start editing this second one here. Now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get our new dog. So I said we're going to do a beagle. So let's go over to the AI image generator and we're going to use the exact same prompt but just change Pomeranian to beagle. So that is generating right now. All right so after just a minute it gave us a super cute kind of head of a beagle. So I'm going to remove the background. Now, if you didn't want just like the beagle's head, if you wanted it to be the full image like the Pomeranian, you could either just try the same prompt again, or you could say something like a beagle sitting or a beagle standing. So sometimes you just kind of play around with it, but I think just kind of like the face of a puppy is super cute. So let's go ahead and go with this. Now we could totally leave it as is, definitely changing the name. So let's change this to something like Sadie, super cute. But I think I'm going to change a few different elements to just make this a little bit of a different style. So let's first change the text. I think maybe this one I want like a script font that could be super cute. Let's try the Angelica Dennis one. That is really adorable. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger here and then we'll definitely have to adjust the transform. But before I do that, you know what? I need to put that template back because I'm realizing I don't remember exactly how everything is laid out. All right, so I have that template back on. Now I'm just going to click on this text again and I'm going to push edit transform and we are just going to make this circle a lot smaller here. So pretty much kind of matching the circle we have here. And then once I did that, it kind of made the text look a little bit crowded. So I think I'm going to add some space between these letters. So I'm just going to click this right here and increase that until I feel like this looks a little bit better. So maybe around 50. And that's looking good, but we definitely don't need as many snowflakes here. We can delete some of these. And then for this one, I think maybe I wanna go with like a red font. So I'm gonna click the color of this here and I'm gonna take this little dropper and just pick this exact same red that's on the hat. And then I think I'm gonna 
change a few of these snowflakes to that exact same color. You could do them all or you could just do a few. I think just a few pops of red here would be super cute and fun. And I think the text still feels like it's missing something. So I might actually add some text shading. So we could either just do a shadow, we could kind of do an outline here, but I think I like this shadow. I'm gonna change it to black and then you can make the offset bigger or smaller depending on what you like. So I'm just going to do a little bit of an offset there. That's looking so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this template again and we're gonna go ahead and download that. So download and make sure the background is removed. All right, so we are back on our ornament and we're just going to go over to the uploads and go ahead and upload our new design. All right, so that is looking super cute. Let's go ahead and preview this and make sure everything looks good. That looks super adorable. I love that we added some red pops in there that makes it look super festive. This would be a perfect gift for any pet owner, but you see how you could take this exact same concept and not only do a bunch of different pets, but you could do something like Christmas plus hobbies. So maybe someone's super into pickleball. You do a really similar style with text and an image and maybe some other graphics and you could do something like pickleball paddles or Santa playing pickleball or even for people's careers if you wanted to make these for your kids teachers. The possibilities are really endless when it comes to ornaments so I hope this gives you a good framework of how you can use this. Now if you do want that free guidebook that I have for you guys you can sign up down below for a free workshop that I have. It's just going to show you in a little bit more depth how to use that full guidebook and how to find a bunch of different niches for your print on demand business. Like I said it's totally free. It just lets me go into more depth than I'm able to in a YouTube video like this. But if you sign up down below, I'll send all the information of how to watch that to your inbox. Plus you'll get the download of these 40,000 niches that you can use in your business over and over again. And if you're looking for even more inspiration of some great products to make for Christmas, I highly recommend checking out this mug tutorial here. That's another really hot item to make right now. And you really want to start stocking up your stores now for the months ahead because the holidays are going to come sooner than you think. Black Friday shopping is one of the most profitable weekends for print on demand sellers. So you definitely want to be ready before then. Happy selling guys. And I'll see you in my next video.